On 409 marks is disappointed after she was called to join Pangani Girls National School. Maria Kirubu, not her real name, says her dream was to join Kenya High School, but her teacher allegedly shortchanged her secondary school selection, denying her chance at Kenya High School. Andrin Kilemi reports. A family in Kitutu Church South Kisi County is struggling to comfort their 14-year-old daughter who is disappointed by the placement of secondary school after she was called to join Pangani Girls and not Kenya High School as she expected. Maria Kemunto, not her real name, scored 409 marks in the 2022 KCPA exams. She says her dreams were shattered by her teacher after he allegedly shortchanged her secondary school selection. I found out that my application, my application was shortchanged short by a teacher in Rubycraft. That that is my school where I sat for my KCP. So my hopes were shattered that way, and I was called to go to Pangani, Pangani Girls. I didn't. I don't want to go to Pangani. It's not that it's a bad school, but. My dream was to go to the Kenya High School. I really don't want to go to Pangani. Pangani is a good school, okay. We have tried to talk to her. We have even looked for people to talk to her, to accept and go to that school. She has refused. We don't know what to do as parents. We are at pains. We are, we are equally hurt. We have no happiness. She is just mad about the Kenya High School. During the selection exercise, the Kenya National Examination Council writes to schools through their education county directors, informing them of the commencement of the exercise. Through the school's registration number, the head teachers then register candidates online. A candidate's birth certificate in this case is required to provide their exact name, year, and date of birth. <laughs> NEC further provides a list of schools and their categories. It is that list then that guides learners in selecting their schools of choice. Kisha baada ya kusajili, mwalimu mkuu atatuma ile orodha kwa tasisi hii. Tasisi hii itaanda orodha rasmi na kuirejesha skulini kwa wanafunzi kupitia na kutia sahihi kama ithibati kwamba yote yaliyonakiliwa na tasisi hii ni yale ambao waliyosema This year's form 1 selection process revealing that a number of candidates did not receive proper guidance and directions when choosing schools this resulting in some schools attracting an overwhelming number of applicants against their capacity the process further showing that over 33000 candidates from over 2000 schools did not select any schools the government through the teacher service commission should should find a way to equip the head teachers senior teachers and deputy head teachers from public schools with digital literacy skills so that they're able to do these things on their own instead of relying on the cyber cafes or relying on hired service. This event as parents, learners, teachers and other education stakeholders are urged to fully commit in the selection exercise to offer support and guidance to learners so as to evade such incidents. And from